are digging inside industrial mines and outside of the Congo, tech and EV companies will have you believe that that does not happen, but the truth on the ground is very different. They also dig all around the countryside because cobalt is everywhere. There are more reserves of cobalt in that part of the Congo than the rest of the planet combined. So the local population has been displaced by enormous mining operations. You made note that some of these are as big as cities. Well, these mining concessions, concessions means the territory a foreign mining company is allowed to exploit. The biggest one in that part of the Congo is the size of London, where I'm sitting right now. So imagine a London-sized swath of countryside that's been completely gouged, destroyed, clear-cut, and contaminated in this scramble to get cobalt out of the ground and up the chain. And imagine the hundreds of thousands of people who used to live in that territory, forcibly displaced, now without home, without a way to live, and all they can do is scramble back into that ground, try to dig some cobalt out of the earth, and feed it up the chain for a dollar or two a day. I want to turn to a clip from a 2017 Sky News special report on child miners in the DRC co cobalt mines. When I wake up every morning, I feel terrible knowing I have to come back here again. Everything hurts. When I'm working here, I'm suffering. My mother, she's already dead, and I have to work all day, and my head hurts me. And this is a clip from a documentary produced by Australian's uh, Broadcasting Corporation last year in a film titled Blood Cobalt, the Congo's Dangerous and Deadly Green Energy Mines. Artisanal miner Mama Natalie explains why she works in the mines, accompanied by her two children. I come to the mine to hustle. If I am lucky, I make some money, and I buy food for the kids. But if I don't, they go to sleep hungry. We collect dirt. The kids help by packing it up and washing it. They also sort through it, looking for minerals. It's not a good life for children. We just don't have any other options. So, Siddharth Kara, um, as we hear these voices of the people who are actually digging for the cobalt, what about the responsibility 